anyways, to quickly show you some gestures that you should know, obviously there's this one. So you guys can open up any windows and just close them. So let's say we opened up this app. Let's just minimize it. This app, minimize, minimize. And I'm saying minimize because you're not really closing them. To properly close an app, we have to swipe up and then select our app and swipe up, up, up on each one of them. And that way they're really closed. How do I know that? Because if I do this, there's no apps loading up. That means they're fully closed. Something else I should know is up here from the corner, this is a quick access to everything. There's airplane, Bluetooth, your brightness as well. We can turn it up, volume like I mentioned, camera. There's a ton of stuff right here and we can add more stuff there as well. And if we do a gesture right from the middle of our screen, we're gonna see something else. Notifications plus our camera and right here, we have our flashlight, which is on the back. If we go all the way to the left side, all the way, we're gonna see this plus search. So if you guys are searching for anything inside your phone, you would go up here and then just search for it. So for example, Facebook, and then it's gonna give you all these options, including the App Store, so you guys can download Facebook. I'm gonna cancel that right now. It's gonna swipe to the right side so I can get out of there. And to update your iPhone XR, something that you will want to do is go into right into your settings. And from there, we're gonna go in right into general software update. And right here, it's gonna look for the latest update. Just click on download and install. And that's all, just let it be. You guys need at least 50% of your battery and you should be good. If you want to know exactly what percentage your battery is at, because this means almost nothing to me, we can just swipe from the side, we can go down, and then we're gonna be able to see exactly what the percentage is. Now, the reason why Apple is doing this, because they have basically no space. So that's why with newer iPhones, such an iPhone XR, 11, you guys will see this battery like that instead of with a percentage sign. So in order to see percentage again, just swipe from this side down and we should see our percentage up here without any problems. Again, that's my percentage, which makes more sense to me than just looking at this small icon. And that's how you guys can see the percentage at what your battery is on right now. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.